here's a problem where they want us to find all local extrema and intervals of increasing and decreasing. So we're going to first use, uh, this is a calculus class, so we're going to use calculus methods, which make it a lot easier to do. And what calculus has taught us is that if I take the derivative of this, which I'll do that real quick, 4x cubed minus 20x, if I set this equal to 0, that represents the max and min points of this function. I know this function, so in my head I'm thinking, first of all, I know this function is going, since it's an even power I know, and it's a positive leading coefficient, the end behavior is both up and I've got a maximum of three peaks or and or valleys. So it's doing something like this, probably. They don't actually want us to find the actual values of these things. They just want us to, they want it, us to say where it's increasing and decreasing. So in those sections, it would be decreasing. Those are my decreasing sections. And in these pink sections, it would be increasing. Because you can see that that's what it's doing. So the, the, the thing I want to do first is find the values for those points right there there and there. Those three points are the solutions to this equation right here, setting that equal to zero. That's what you learned in calculus. So how do I solve that very easily? I factor out a 4x, which will leave me with x squared minus 5. This means that x equals zero. This means, doing this in my head, that x equals plus or minus the square root of 5. So the square root of 5 is a little bit more than 2. So I'm going to have right here, let's call that the positive square root of 5. Let's call that the negative square root of 5. And here's 0 right here. Those are the three places. So this is negative root 5. This is 0, comma, something. And this is positive root 5. If I wanted to find those values, I could, but I don't need to. Because all I need to do is tell them what intervals it's increasing and decreasing. So it's doing something. You know it's going through the x ax or I'm sorry. It's going not it's uh, I apologize. I said that wrong. You know that the max or min is somewhere on this line. The ma maxes and mins are somewhere on those three lines right there. So at the risk of making a mistake, I'm just going to draw it in. Let's say it's down here. Again, these are probably wrong up there. Oh, I can find that one. That one's easy to find. That's going to be at 9. Because if I plug in 0, I'm going to get 9. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's up here. And square and positive square root of 5, well, see how it's an even function? So when I plug in a positive square root of 5 or a negative square root of 5, I'm going to get the same answer. I might as well just do that, but I'm not going to. Let's just So they're going to be at the same place. So your graph, you can't really see it very good. Let me change colors to purple. Your graph is going to look like, erase that dot there, something like this. Min, max, min, and it's going up. So I didn't really need to graph that because I had the visual right here. The increasing intervals are the pink ones over here. From there to there, it's increasing. So it's increasing from negative root 5 to 0. Union, I usually want you to write it like that, from root 5 to infinity, because from there to infinity, is in, it's increasing. And it's decreasing on the other intervals, which are from negative infinity to negative root 5, from there to there, it's decreasing. And then from 0, right here, all the way to root 5. Notice you use open brackets, because that's how you do it when you're talking about increasing and decreasing intervals. And there's your answer. The Oh, you know what? They did ask us for the local extrema. So I guess I should have. The local extrema are going to be 0, 9. And so I might as well have done this in the first place. If I plug in the square root of 5 here, I'm going to get 5 times 5, 25. That's going to be 25 
minus 50, so negative 25 plus 9, which is negative 16. So root 5 comma negative 16 and negative root 5 comma negative 16. It's going to be the same value because I, I those were e it, this is an even function, so it's symmetric. So this actually is further down here. It's way down at the bottom somewhere, but it looks roughly like that. So there are your answers.